Hi, uh, my name is Dr. Sean Morton. I'm an instructor at Grand Prairie Regional College in Alberta, Canada, um, and I'm here with the Stan Creek Regional Archaeology Project. And I just want to take you on a quick tour of what we've been up to. So, come on, let's go. So, here we are in the monumental core of Alabama. Um, today the site is surrounded by orange groves, um, but right here where all the monumental architecture is, the kind of downtown area, um, you'll see that it's still very, very, very forested covered. Um, this is what a Maya site looks like before you excavate. So right in front of us here, that mound or that hill that you see in front of us is one of the largest buildings on site. This is structure two. Um, right here, uh, structure one, down there the other side of the tarps, and we're digging under the tarps right now. Um, I know it doesn't look like much, um, but if you look right here, that kind of bulge in the, in the ground there, those are the ancient stairs um, going up onto the building. And so in the past, um, this would have been a stone-faced building um, with a perishable structure on top. So um, probably a wattle and daub stick house, uh, with a thatch roof, and then the walls um, uh, nicely finished. So from the outside, it would have looked um, like stone. So let's head on over to where uh, things are just wrapping up, actually. So we'll be closing our excavations here uh, today. So this is the, the very end. We're kind of doing the last recording. Um, but it means you get to see kind of the finished product. So we are here during the rainy season, which means it is wet. Um, and so we have this massive tarp set up to keep us dry. This is our excavation. Um, you'll see Damasio there um, just kind of finishing up a level um, with a shovel and pick today. So we're just kind of trying to penetrate down into the building as far as possible. Um, as far as we know, um, the majority of this building, all of this stone you see in front of here, you here um, was put in place uh, during the late classic period, um, somewhere probably around 750 AD. Um, the site was probably only occupied for about 150 years in that period. Um, however, this year we got some tantalizing clues um, that there's some earlier stuff going on. Specifically, if you look down at my feet here, this is a uh, plaza level. So um, it looks like at some point in the, in the ancient past, and, and we don't know, but it may be the early classic, um, the natural ground surface um, was finished, and then this platform was put into place here. At some later port point, this building, structure one and two, so this big long shared platform that we were looking at, um, was built over top, as you can see, over top of this building. All right. At some point after that, so at, there was a period when both would have been visible on the ground. Um, whether this was for a long period of time or a short period of time, we don't know. But a short period after, or at some point after that, sorry, um, these great big granite pieces were put in here. And then this cobble layer. And that was used to bring the kind of surrounding ground level up to the same level as this platform. And then on top of that, was put this layer of kind of finer cobbles and white material. You can see it better over here on this side. So at most Maya sites, this would have been limestone, um, but here uh, we don't have limestone. This is a granite area. All of this architecture is granite. Um, and so this is a another kind of, um, just happens to be white material, which I'm guessing they used because of that um, uh, kind of property. Um, so they put this in and raised the entire platform up. You can see they buried um, the lowest course of masonry here on structure one, two, completely erased this older building in the process, um, and essentially reoriented um, the plaza. So um, one structure one and two runs east-west, faces north, and um, if you look out that way, you might just be able to see the outline of another mound. That's structure 10, um, probably one of the ceremonial buildings on site, and that's where we'll be next month. Um, right now, um, like I said, Damasio's digging into the building um, to try and see um, kind of how it's built. 
Um, say hi, Damasio. Hi. Nicely done. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, as you can see, it's mostly an earthen uh, filled platform. By the way, Mr. Alfonso, he's up there screening. Say hi, Mr. Alfonso. Yeah. There we go. Okay. <laughs> um, so earthen fill building. Um, and then behind it, to kind of hold that earth in, um, they have this uh, stone. And it's hard to see, but right down in here, there's this kind of amorphous blob. Um, that appears to be a granite mortar. You can see it better um, down here um, in front, right? So between the stones, they've placed it. Uh, it looks like it's granite mixed with probably a clay or something like this to hold it all in place. So there's kind of this rough retaining wall and then they put the nice facing stones on in front of it. Um, it's a completely unique way of building. Um, unique because, whoops, let's just get out of the unit here. Because um, again, um, this area is one in which uh, there just isn't isn't limestone. So um, the people who are living here were trying to kind of copy the architectural styles of other places, of places they may have been familiar with or, or seen previously or lived previously, um, but with different materials. Um, and this, this is the result. Um, all right, I'll leave it at that. Um, we'll check in with you at some other point. Bye.